There is no one way to do anything. And I wish I'd seen a video like this earlier in my early 20s or in my late teens. Because right now I'm 25, about to turn 26. And this is something that I, I now figured out in, you know, now coming to my late 20s. And something that I just wish that I had seen a lot earlier. So it was only right for me to kind of make a video and I hope someone that's probably in the position that I'm in or probably going to be in a position that I'm in is going to avoid and hopefully learn from my mistakes. And, you know, in your, in your late uh, teens or even in your early teens and your 20s and so on, you're going to kind of listen to respectable figures in your life. So these are your parents, these are people in a church, if you're religious, your mosque, whatever it is. Um, and you're going to listen to them when they say certain things. Like This is the one way you need to do something if you want to be successful, if you want to be happy. And quite a lot of the time, they could actually be wrong for you. And that's something that, of course, you might need to take time to decode for yourself. But I'll just tell you how stuff worked for me. And before I start this video, I just want to make a quick disclaimer. If you ever see me make videos to say this is the one and only way that you should do this or the one and only thing that you should do, just know that I'm trying to probably like beat the algorithm and making those titles for views, engagement, clicks. So if you ever see that, you can revert back to a video like this. And it's better I just said it in this video than keeping quiet because um you know, some people would think, well, but he said this and why is he now acting pretty strangely? And, and I've said this to quite a, to my friends and I always say it to myself that life has very fascinating and interesting ways in turning you into a hypocrite. And it's designed like that to humble you, you know. A lot of the time, the things that you said you'll never do, you'll end up doing. And, and I just think that's pretty interesting. But on to this video. See, when I was like in my teens, in my late teens now, and I was told that if you want a happy, successful and fulfilling life, you need to go to university. You need to get good grades in school, go to university, get a degree so that you can get a good job, so you can get a house with the wife, two kids and a dog. But what about if that's something that you weren't really interested in then what you see the thing is i found that for for people right the people that were telling me those are the things i needed to do i wish i would have looked around sooner and looked at their lives and said well you told me that to go to university, you need a happy and fulfilling life and that's how you become successful and you won't need to worry about this and this and this. But you did the same thing and you're not even living a fulfilling, happy, successful life. So what are you talking about? That's something I wish I, would, I, I had not only the, the balls to kind of like step against and rebel, but I wish that I had that even thinking level of being like, well, this person, this person could be wrong. I wish I had that because I didn't. I just followed. And I wasted three years of my life at university with a piece of paper de like degree that I'll never probably use that I tried to get a job with. And it's like there was pretty much no difference between someone that because remember, not all degrees are made the same, right? If you're going to university to be a doctor or a surgeon, then of course, that's, that's fine. That's great. But if you're going to university, for you know creative subjects that you're passionate about that you like if you're going to university because you're passionate about something uh, and this thing revolves in the realm of creativity and art then you might be wasting your time because i went i went for sound engineering which i guess it was a sort of bachelor of science or scientific thing but there, there are quite a lot of people that literally have learned what I've learned from home and managed to, you know, get experience way faster than I have. 
And then when I leave an, an, um, university with this piece of paper and try to get a job, they're saying, well, what, what's your experience like? We need to know your experience. Now, this isn't just for my thing. I've seen the same thing happen to people that took business administration degrees and so on and so forth. Like, hey, okay, fine, but what, what have you done? I spent most of my life in university and school. That's what I've done. What are you talking about? Like, it, it, it's, it's actually crazy to me. How I believed that that's the one and only way that I can do something. Yet, there's people out here that follow their dreams. And yes, some of them did fail, but there's many factors to that. See, there's people that out here that follow their dreams. I know this guy, he was, he was um, cleaning uh, shop windows, local shops. And he got to a point where he was making £2,000 uh, a month, which is cool. Um, because quite a lot of us, when we were at university, weren't. Were, uh, weren't even making that much really um, But he was making about 2,000 uh, And more And then Word got around He started cleaning other business uh, Offices and windows and stuff like that And then he got to a point where he was making six figures A lot of us out of university Weren't even making that much Nowhere near And then he got to a point where You know he assembled a team together now he's making eight figures cleaning like corporate buildings, skyscrapers and stuff like that. Now, you know, this was something that he enjoyed, something he liked, and he just went full force into it. And I wish if I could go back, I would tell my past self, go full force in the things that you like. Don't let people try to stop you. Don't let people try to tell you that this is the one and only thing because the people telling you that haven't even accomplished that themselves. And if you look around and you see that the people haven't even accomplished that Then you should say, look, what the hell are you telling me? How, how the hell would you know about living a successful life when you haven't done it yourself? Or you're not even aspiring to do it We're doing something completely different One thing I should have known You see, right now, I'll give you more examples Right now, I, I own a marketing agency And... I I work with mo other marketing agencies, PR companies, business consulting firms. I work with I've worked with accountants. Um, I've worked in you know with restaurants, multiple different industries. And I remember when I first started getting clients, I was getting clients by sending out cold emails. So I'd reach to businesses and I'll say, hey, I can help you do this and this and this, and this is how I can do it. And this was just through cold emails. And a lot of people that saw the emails would reply to me and it would be all positive. Like, well, not all, but most, mostly positive. I'll say about 95 to 97% uh, positive responses. People saying, you know what, Sam, this is a great email. It's just not right, a right time for me right now. Just give me some time. Some people will be like, Sam, this is amazing. Is this, I'm not interested in this right now. Other people would then tell me stuff. They would say, Sam, I'm interested. Can we get on a phone call? I just want to see what you're talking about, what we can do together. And it will be all positive feedback. Now, throughout this positive feedback loop, um, I used to get some people, which were very few, commenting negatively. And these people would say stuff like this to me, they'll say, and I'll try to put, we can see if we can put the screenshots up if we do find them. But these people will say to me, Sam, the way you're approaching me in this email is very offensive, is very condescending, and you're not going to be successful like this. Yet, I found success in doing that thing that they're telling me not to do. See, they had a framework in their mind, a system in their mind that is... It, email, email should be like this or they won't work I then replied to that person and I said It's funny you say that because out of all the people that I messaged I think you're the only one so far that has said this And we get like a 75% open rate And then most people that open and reply we do close So then I'm thinking well, well what's going on here? Right? Like what's actually happening? Because mo the majority of people are liking it Right? And I also got another one where this guy was critiquing my whole email. So he was like, dude, you're never going to be successful like this, man. You got spelling errors over here, grammar issues, this, that, that, breaking down my whole email. And then I told him, you know, it's so funny you say that 
Because the majority of people that open this either saw the spelling mistakes and did not even care or just didn't care in the first place. Right? They they saw the, the what I was trying to say and they go on a phone call. So a lot of people will tell you the well the, this is the one the one thing is make sure you have great grammar. Listen, I, I didn't do that well in English at the school because I, I probably I didn't pay that much attention to it or whatever. But you probably know it from the way I speak and even sometimes how I write titles and stuff. That I'm not going to have the greatest grammar and I'm not going to have like you know what I mean? But none of these things have stopped me from getting high seven, eight, nine figure uh, clients and even corporate billion dollar people on the phone with me closing a deal. That hasn't stopped me. So these people that are telling me all these things of, well, this is the one, this is no, this is what you should do. You know, th this is what, this is the one thing. The one thing is make sure there's good grammar. It never stopped me and it doesn't till this day I use the exact same email and it still works right and I'll give you another example working the business consulting firm right working with business consulting firms and working with business coaches there's been so many coaches like I've worked with and quite a lot of them I know this one guy I won't say his name of course you know to protect him and stuff but I remember he was answering this question on a video and someone said, well, do I actually need a business coach? And then he said, well, only if you want a better, more fulfilled life. Yeah, you do. If, if you want a better, more fulfilled life, if you want to make more money and run a biz better business, you do. And here's the thing. He was telling someone you need a business coach. Yet, let's say he's at like one or two million dollars a year. The person that was saying, do I need a business coach was about $15 million a year. And I was thinking, wait, how does that make any sense? How can, if anything, he should be paying her to see how she got to $15 million much sooner than he did. Because this is, this is a pretty old guy in his 60s. So I'm, I'm thinking, well, how, like, how does that actually work? If you're only making a million dollars and she's making 15 plus and she's like in her 30s. And, and she's, she's enjoying her life and her business. How does that work out? Now, this, this, this case is, is, I guess, one of the best ones because most business coaches I've seen, not that I've worked with, but I've seen, have, are making about 40,000, 50,000 a year. If you're making 40,000, 50,000 a year, how can you tell someone, that, that I can show you how to grow your business and make like 10 million a year? How does that even work? Now, granted, I didn't know about Solomon's Paradox. If people don't know Solomon's Paradox, Solomon's Paradox was basically um, about this guy called King Solomon, King of Israel, who was really good at solving other people's problems. But when it came to his own life, his own life was in, sh was in shambles. And I guess the meaning or the breakdown of it is that when you're looking at something that you're not emotionally invested in, you can look at it logically and say, this, 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 this needs to go. And, and when you're emotionally invested in it, you, you really can't because there's a lot of emotions and stuff. You see, here's the, the, that's the funny thing. The business coach is saying the one and only way to grow your business is to have a business coach. Yet a lot of them are, are, are broke or a lot of them are suffering. Like I, I knew I had a client that I was working with and she was like, look, I can help someone get to 500,000 or a million dollars a year. And the funny thing is she did. She actually did produce that result. Someone did get to 500,000 or a million a year. Again, there could be there could have been many factors to that. But she said, look, I just can't do it for myself. I just don't know why. Meaning that that business coach needs a business coach. And not, nothing wrong with that, but there's a lot of things now we need to start weighing up and quite a lot of people that I've seen that are successful the one percent even people that are just not at one percent level but they're making quite a lot of money a lot of them don't have business coaches they never had business coaches yet they're really successful a lot of people would tell you this is the one thing that you should do but it doesn't mean it is true and a good way to find out if it's true or not is you look at their life. 
Look, look, have a look at their life and see. Just, just see it. That's a good way to look at it. It's not always the case, but just look at their life and see. And and I've many I had many people on the phone call telling me about my selling skills. Like, oh, I don't think the way you sell is like like there was a guy that was destroying me on a phone call. And I'm not saying you shouldn't take feedback. Feedback is important. But I'm saying what I'm saying is he was telling me about my selling skills and so on, right? But it, it never forced it never like stopped me from shutting down the amount of people that I've shut down, the amount of deals that I've closed. Of course, you can improve. There, there can be a way that, like, if you are about at an eight, you can get to a nine or a ten. But then you start thinking, okay, where are you in this in this line pecking order? Are you and are you another eight? Are you a, a, a ten? Are you way more successful at me? Or are our personalities not like working together? Is that why you don't want to buy this thing? Because you expect me to sell in a way that's comfortable to you. And I remember one time um, someone said, I think it was Dan Pena, he said, listen, a lot of people aren't going to listen to me because of how I deliver the message. But don't kill the messenger. The thing that I'm telling you is the same exact thing that maybe other people are telling you. It's just I see it in a different way. And it just can, like messages connect differently because of how people say it. There is no one way to do something. The, the, the last thing that I want to say, because I don't want this video to go on for too long, it's already 17 minutes or something. But the last thing I wanted to say is, I remember when I was trying to lose quite a lot of body fat because I was like eating really, really, really bad and I still have quite a lot of uh, body fat to lose. I remember when I was like trying to find a way on how I could do it and I was trying to see, well, can I buy these courses on it? Is it going to work? Um, these YouTube videos, should I get a fitness instructor, etc. I found that a lot of people always have something that they have to say. So they'll say, well, they'll say something like this. They'll say, okay, um, the one and only way that you can lose body weight, you can lose body fat is you have to get onto this diet. You have to go on the keto diet. You have to do intermittent fasting. No, 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 sorry. <laughs> yeah, no, you have to uh, drink water for four days and then food for the rest no sorry wait no hold on hold on hold on what you need to do is you you need to make sure you're sleeping nine to 12 hours a day and then you need to make sure that you're putting in loads of naps and then e eating carrots and and potatoes no sorry sorry no 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 you need to have a uh, charcoal infused water no that yeah that's that's no there, there's so many people telling me things and the 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 fact of it if there was a one way it's usually very simple and very fundamental it's usually just making sure my nutrition is in check and i'm eating right making sure i get enough sleep and, and i'm resting well and making sure i exercise enough that is it all, all this other stuff all this other stuff like you know one of my uh, mentors would say all this stuff is for the birds right all this other stuff is just nonsense. Like, as long as you're doing it in a sort of healthy way, there is no one way to do it. You can do it in multiple different ways. Is it healthy? Is it safe to do? Does it work? That's it. Don't, don't stop letting people telling you that there's this, there's this one way, there's this one thing that you can do. Like... You know what I'm saying? This one way. This is this is it. This is the only. This is the one and only way to do it. Anyone that says that is either delusional and naive. So don't don't think like people that say that all the time. Because I used to think people that tell me this is the one way to do something is automatically a con artist. Is automatically a scam. But I realized I, quite a lot of people are delusional and and, and very naive. So. Anyway, I hope this video did help. I know I might have been rambling on, but I'm, I'm just very passionate about this subject. So I do hope this video has helped someone. Um, I really, really do help that, uh, hope that. Um, because, again, I wish a video like this was made for me when I was coming up. So I hope this video helped. If it did, guys, make sure you watch 
other videos that we produce on this channel new marketing you and they should show up on screen very soon uh, if they're not already subscribe to the channel if you want to see more content like this and i hope to see you soon all right thanks bye